The day before Memorial Day, we received a picture from a resident who observed a newborn foal who definitely uh, had something wrong with his back legs. Uh, when I saw the picture, I could see that the foal's heels were severely contracted, especially in the back. He was literally standing on his toes. And left alone in the wild, um, he would not have had a good quality of life. He would have worn the heel wall down. That would have not only been painful, but it would have allowed for infection to get inside the heel wall. So on Memorial Day, our herd, man our herd manager and um, one of our other staff went up. We had to locate the mare again, and um, after about a two-hour attempt, we were able to capture them, bring them down. He received three days of medical care from Dominion Equine, uh, and that entails IV tetracycline, which in equines relaxes the muscles. That enabled the heels to drop down. Um, they stayed wrapped for a week, and when they were removed, he had a normal gait, and his heels were in the position that they should be. He's thriving. He's almost a month old now. Uh, when we take a horse off the beach, it cannot go back. It's, uh, we only remove horses for life-threatening or quality of life issues. So we have obviously spent a lot of time handling this foal as well as, as, well as his mother. So they have lost a certain amount of their wildness, especially the foal. And we've had to change her diet over to that of a domestic horse. So when Vivo's six months old, he'll enter our nationwide adoption program. And um, we're not sure about mom's fate yet. She has uh, a few issues that uh, health-wise may not make her available for adoption. We're still working on that. It's only been a month since she gave birth, so they may resolve themselves. If not, she'll remain in our care um, un until she passes away because uh, our job is to preserve and protect these horses and keep them safe.